18 former NBA players found a, uh, accused of fraud. <laughs> oh, I saw this one and kind of laughed. I, well, it's not funny, but, <clears throat> but it's worth discussing. Let's see if I can find this online and kind of read, read some inserts from it. The, the former NBA players charged in $14 million healthcare fraud, fraud scheme. Okay. <laughs> 18 former NBA players indicted for allegedly trying to defraud league's health care plan out of millions. Man. Okay. 18 former NBA players and one of their family members took part in a widespread scheme to defraud the NBA's health, health plan by submitting nearly $4 million in a false fraudulent claim to be reimbursed for medical and dental services that had not actually been given. So I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop there, but I did read a little bit about this earlier, and if they were basically submitting fake invoices um, to into the I guess the league's health health um, um, healthcare office or whatever, and being re- reimbursed for these costs up to four million dollars. See, my whole thing is who this I mean this is where it gets interesting. I got I got I. I need to dig deeper into it, but I'm, I'm real curious of um, how this worked because, first of all, these guys are former NBA players. What happened to their money, right? You would think. Second of all, if you're submitting these invoices for reimbursement, who? I mean, I guess, I guess they, I guess they would, I guess they. I mean, who, who would the the league make the reimbursement payment out to? Are they making it out to the players or did the players set up a, a fake organization or multiple fake organizations for these reimbursements to go through? And I, I, that bad. Y'all going to jail. Y'all, y'all in trouble. Y'all in trouble. Who are who are the NBA players on this one? Hold on. Hold on. Each person allegedly tried to. Oh, here we go. So in all 19 were indicted. On the court conspiracy to commit healthcare fraud and wire fraud, each person allegedly tried to claim between sixty-five thousand to as much as forty-two thousand in fraudulent medical service reimbursement. Uh, Many cases, people submitted invoices where nowhere near. They submitted. Um, they were submitting the invoices where nowhere near the location where they claimed to be receiving treatments. Ooh, travel record. Uh, yeah, there. Yeah, this is all bad. This is all bad. I want, who? Who are the players? Hold on. I had a list. I saw a list earlier. Saw a list earlier. Among the charge was Tony Allen, six-time um, All-Defensive Team selection and a member of the 2008 Championship All Celtics team. His wife was also indicted. Oh, Tony, dang. Tony Allen, well, he used to be like the he wasn't he wasn't the Kobe stopper, but he was one of the best defensive players in the league. He, he used to try to lock Kobe down. Uh, now he's getting locked down. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> the, Memphis, uh, the Memphis Grizzly announced weeks ago that they're planning to retire Allen's number on January. What? Wait, wait, hold on. Tony Allen has was not in custody um, as of Thursday afternoon. The Memphis Grizzly announced weeks ago that they plan to retire Allen's number at a January twenty nine game versus the Utah Jazz. We will we'll, we'll see now. We'll see about that now. See, this is when you just do stupid stuff. Still, the eighteen players combined to make three hundred forty three million dollars on their own. In, in their on-court NBA careers. Okay, that's how much they made playing. But where, okay, who else we got here? I don't know who this is. Someone from the Trailblazers. Uh, okay, Alan Glenby, Baby Davis. Shannon Brown. Oh, Shannon Brown. He played for the Lakers. He won two wings, two rings with the Lakers. Oh, man. This is sad. 